I really have to say that one of the main things that uh, uh, is on my mind at the present time is just how exciting in a period this is for the space community and uh, for the space industry. Uh, over the past four years, uh, we saw a lot of momentum produced. Uh, and um, that's been true for, U for the US policy. It's also been true globally uh, with uh, many new countries that had not been participants in uh, space activities uh, now coming on board. And so I thought I'd talk a little bit about uh, some of those things and kind of where, where we were um, uh, over the last four years and uh, how that has increased the momentum uh, and then uh, look out toward the future a little bit as well. Um, if you take a look at uh, what we did, um, uh, we created the Space Force. Uh, the Space Force was really a recognition uh, that uh, we face uh, strategic competition in the world. It used to be that the competition was between Russia and the United States. Uh, more recently, it's uh, been China. But the fact is that um, uh, our security is very much uh, in danger uh, because of, of uh, bad actor nations like Iran and North Korea that may find themselves orbital in the future. And the combination now of those four nations, North Korea, uh, Iran, and China, and Russia are all coming into uh, almost alliances at the present time, which is very concerning. So the Space Force is, a, is in part a recognition of that but it also recognizes that space is a very important part of our uh, economic life as well, and that we need to defend uh, all of those assets. We uh, saw the uh, advent of the commercial crew program over the last four years, uh, which means that uh, not only nations are going to space now, but companies are going to space. Within the next few weeks, we'll actually have the launch of a um, spacecraft, uh, SpaceX, uh, that uh, will contain only commercial crew. Uh, and uh, th that's, a, that's a step uh, that uh, we thought uh, wouldn't come for uh, a much longer time, but um, they have been uh, very, very uh, much uh, in favor of, of, of doing this and, and now we're gonna see it happen. <clears throat> in, in addition, you have the Artemis program, uh, which is gonna take us back to the uh, moon uh, with uh, humans, uh, ultimately for a human presence on the moon, permanent presence on the moon. Uh, and um, the, uh, the hope has been that we could do that by 2024. Um, it appears because of some of the technical issues uh, that that may end up being stretched. But um, uh, I'm convinced that uh, the new administrator at NASA, who I expect to be confirmed very fairly easily, uh, Bill Nelson, uh, is going to be um, uh, pushing to keep as close to that date uh, as possible. The um, issues uh, that, uh, that he will face uh, will be the same issues that administrators have all, always face budget. But one of the reasons why I think that uh, Bill is uh, particularly suited to the job is I worked with him when we were in the House. He was the chairman of the Space Subcommittee and I was the ranking member. And uh, what we uh, found was that uh, we had some mutual interest. He wasn't always as enthusiastic as, about the commercial side as I was, uh, but uh, I think that uh, he recognizes now, he served on the NASA Advisory Committee for the last couple of years. And so he sees the potential that's there for, uh, for the commercial space side. And now um, NASA is able to use a lot of those commercial assets as an underpinning uh, for what we're doing uh, in uh, programs like Artemis. So if you think about all of that progress and the things that we've been able to do there, um, the space, uh, I, I should also mention that uh, the Biden administration just announced a few days ago that they're gonna keep the Space Council. That's, that's a really important uh, aspect to this because so many of the agencies of government and the departments of government are involved in our space program now. And so you need some coordinating function and that coordinating function is best done out of the White House. Uh, and um, I think that uh, it was a very strong step and a very good step uh, that the Biden administration has uh, decided to continue ahead with that. So what I'm seeing is I think there's gonna be even more progress that just lies ahead. Uh, and I'm not talking here about progress that is um, ethereal in, in nature. I'm talking about real technology that's being developed. Uh, you look at the uh, concept of nuclear propulsion. Um, I thought 
many years ago that we ought to be working harder on that because the fact is, if you can apply power throughout a space flight that's headed to Mars, um, it means that you can cut uh, the time to uh, going to Mars by months. Uh, and uh, literally you can change a, um, uh, what a, would be a typically a six month trip if you're just drifting out there uh, back to uh, something in the, in the matter of weeks. Uh, and uh, we are seriously working now as a result of some advances in, in nuclear technology, the, the idea of modular reactors, we're really working toward uh, putting a nuclear propulsion on uh, the spaceships that will travel uh, out to the, the um, outer space uh, in the future. We are also uh, looking at commercial space stations. Uh, my firm right now works with a company called Axiom. Uh, Axiom is developing a space module that will go on the space station uh, in uh, the near future. Uh, and um, uh, that has already been contracted for by a movie company, a Tom Cruise movie, uh, that's going to be shot aboard the space station in this, in this module. Um, but uh, beyond that, uh, this module will also then have the capability of ultimately becoming an independent space station where you can have uh, human habitat, but you can also do industrial uh, types of work. Um, we're looking at a robotic exploration of the moon before the humans get there. Um, and uh, these robots uh, will send us back a lot of, a lot of information uh, that will give us an idea of where the best landing sites are. Uh, you'll have the James Webb Telescope that will be uh, uh, launched. James Webb Telescope has been a long time in gestation, uh, but the fact is that um, uh, as much as the Hubble has allowed us to see of the universe uh, beyond uh, our sight, uh, James Webb will be, be even more uh, productive. James Webb Telescope has the potential of being able to show us uh, exoplanets uh, that exist in other galaxies. And so uh, this is uh, all very exciting. And then uh, the advent of space tourism. Uh, just the other day, uh, Virgin uh, showed us their new spaceship uh, that will take people into suborbit. Um, and um, we have uh, Blue Origin that's been working on their ship uh, that will take tourists into space orbit. Those things are coming in, in the very, very near future. And then if you look out even further, uh, you have uh, people who are looking at very, very big developments. When I wrote the uh, space document uh, for the uh, Trump campaign in 2016, I put a stretch goal in it. The stretch goal was for human exploration of the entire solar system in 100 years. Well, um, that was a real stretch goal as I envisioned it in 2016, but now I'm beginning to see the kind of research that's being done on creating warp speed vehicles. And um, warp speed vehicles would allow that kind of, of exploration. And in fact, we would go out beyond. I, on the advisory board of a uh, institute called the Limitless Space Institute. And um, we're really working at a, at a micro level right now uh, uh, at those uh, kinds of uh, warp speed developments. Put that all together and then you think about the global competition that's taking place, it's economic competition. I talked a few minutes ago about the strategic competition, but there's economic competition with nations like Japan and, and India and even nations like Australia, Luxembourg, who are forming their own space programs now and are, and are competitive with the United States. We're doing all these good things, but there's a lot more to come and, and we're gonna have to be uh, recognized, well, we're gonna have to recognize that our competitors are uh, moving at a very rapid pace as well. 